everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel, my name is Emily and I basically upload a video every Thursday and every Sunday, something related to beauty, fashion or lifestyle. Um, and if you are new, then make sure you click the little subscribe button down below, give it a thumbs up if you like the video to indicate that I should keep on filming them. Um, but yeah, today I'm going to be filming my September favourites video. I don't know what is going on with my hair, I've got all these like weird little random sticking out bits and it's really starting to bug me. So um, do excuse my hair. So yeah, today we're going to be filming September favourites video. I'm going to be showing you all of the bits that I love throughout the month of September. And I'm just going to jump straight in and I hope that you enjoy it. So I'm going to be starting off with a few fashion favourites because I don't usually tend to show any fashion favourites in my videos. They are usually more beauty. But this month I have got two fashion favourites that I just really want to share with you. The first one is something you've all seen before, it is this bag, um, I did a what's in my bag video not too long ago um, and I showed you guys everything that was in this bag, it's very noisy so I'm trying to keep it quiet because the, the chain is, <laughs> makes lots of noise, um, but yeah basically this is a over the shoulder bag, it's beautiful, it's from ASOS, it costs £30 um, and I have just been loving this so much, now I'm not usually one to use like smaller bags, I'm the person that carries around a huge bag and has absolutely everything you could ever need in it, um, it is basically a Mary Poppins bag, but I bought this one because I fell in love with it on ASOS um, and I have managed to kind of cut down things I carry around with me these days and I'm loving it, I think it looks gorgeous um, and I'm so happy that I've got it. And then the other fashion favourite is a jumper. I absolutely love the jumper I've got on now, um, but I also have been wearing this one a lot, and I just feel like, I feel like this is going to be a trend that I wear a lot throughout the next few months. Grey, really gorgeous, um, beautiful sort of pale grey colour, um, high necked jumper, and then I've rolled the sleeves up on it, um, and it's just amazing. It's slightly back winged, um, so it is quite a baggy fit. But I just think it looks gorgeous um, and it's so soft and I just love it and I literally want to wear it every day. But I have also got this jumper which I've got on now, I'll try and show you. But it just looks like this, it's got like a roll neck on it up here, it's got stripes, I've rolled the sleeves up. Um, and it just kind of cuts off where a jumper normally cuts off, I can't really show you because I'm not going to lie, I don't have any trousers on right now. I'm sat here in my pants and um, a jumper because that's how a lot of YouTubers film their videos, if you didn't know. We usually dress our top half but not our bottom half because there's just no need and it's super comfy um, so yeah I'm really into these like jumpers this one is from New Look if I didn't already say but yeah I'm just into like high necked baggy soft wintery jumpers and I'm loving it so they are my fashion favourites for September okay I'm now going to move on to some beauty favourites now these ones aren't really autumn appropriate but I've been loving them loads. Um, these are the body butters from the body shop. The first one here is the raspberry one. I've also got the mango. As you can see, I have used them up quite a lot. Uh, I feel like they're both quite empty. Yeah, they're both quite empty. I just love them and these are my two favourite fragrances at the moment. I know they're not very autumnal. I know, they're very like fruity and summery. But there's just something gorgeous about them and I always reach for these. Um, I moisturise my body every single day when I get out of the shower or out of the bath. I just feel like it locks in the moisture, they're not too sticky, they sink in really quickly and they're so rich and moisturising and they just make my skin feel moisturised for like a good 24 hours or so. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love these and if you've never used the Body Shop Body Butters, I definitely recommend you try them out. Next up I have got a mascara, this is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara which is looking very worse for wear, I've had this for quite a long time now and I definitely think it's time to get a new one because there is literally like nothing left in it, um, but I have been using this every single day for pretty much the last month or so, it's the only mascara I seem to reach for at the moment, I don't really know why but it just works very well with my lashes and um, I need to pick up a new one because I love it a lot. I've also got uh, some lip products to talk you through. Now these are the Gerard Cosmetics Lip Hydromat Lip Hydromat Liquid Lipsticks. That's the one. I always get the name wrong. Um, the two shades I've got here are Sher and Skinny Dip, which are actually two of my new shades. I've also got the shade Iced Mocha, which is the kind of dark lip that I have been wearing a lot recently in my previous videos. Um, today I've got on the shade Sher, um, and you can kind of see that these look very similar in the tube. 
but they do come out very different um skinny dip is a lot more of a nude and then the shirt is very berry toned as you can see from what i've got on today um but yeah if you want to know any more information about these i will leave a link down below in the box because i have written a whole blog post about these lipsticks because i love them so much and they are very inexpensive they have so many different shades and they just last forever on your lips so head down to the description box and read my little review on those next makeup item is a foundation now this is the max studio sculpt spf 15 foundation it's in the shade nc 15 and this is basically the only foundation i've been wearing for over a month now um i started I started using this just before I went to Ibiza for the second time round. Um, I took it to Ibiza with me, it was the only foundation I wore whilst I was there and since I have been back it is still the only foundation I have worn. Um, I just feel like it works really well with my skin, it doesn't go oily or shiny throughout the day, it gives me a really good coverage, it's the perfect colour, um, as you can see I have got it on today and I do match my neck um, and yeah. I just love it and I feel like it's a great formula, I really like the packaging, I like the consistency of the foundation, I just like everything about it and I feel like I'm actually running out because I have used so much of this, um, but it's just an absolute favourite of mine and if you were looking for a new foundation to try, perhaps try this one. Next is my Kevin O'Quan Sculpting Powder, as you can probably all guess, I show this in most of my videos. Um, this is my new one and it's in the shade Light, it looks like this. And I've got it on today um, as my little bit of contour here. And as you can see, it is very, very natural looking. I think you can get this in different shades, I think it comes in light, medium and dark. I have got light and medium. Now looking back, this is definitely the right shade for me. I used to use medium when that was the only one available. Um, and like it did look okay, but you had to be very, very careful with it. Whereas this one you can't really go wrong because it is so light and it's just the perfect contour shade. It's very grey, ashy toned and it just makes that sort of chiselled look and I love it so much. And I know it is expensive, but it does last a very long time. Okay, I have got a skincare product. This is... The Lizelle Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser, I've now upgraded to the big tube of it instead of the little pump because I love this product. It's a holy grail skincare product for me now. I use it every morning, every night and I just love it. Um, I have been getting funny skin at the moment but I know it's not down to my skincare, it's down to my hormones. Um, I've been getting quite a lot of like spots around my hairline um, and I've been getting that for quite a while now and... I have feel like now I possibly have it a little bit under control using a mixture of this and also this. Now this one here is the Tea Tree Cool and Creamy Wash from The Body Shop. Oh no, did I just squeeze some of this one out? Okay, it's fine. So yeah, this is the Tea Tree Face Wash from The Body Shop and as you can see, well you can't really see it but there's literally like nothing left in this because I got this quite a while ago. I think I actually got it when I used to work there so it could possibly be out of date. I basically found this in my drawer the other day in my bathroom. I found it like rummaging through all my skincare. I remembered I had it and I remembered how good it was so I started to use it all around my forehead and where I was getting the spots and I haven't had any more appear since I started using this so um, it's a great product. I don't use it all of the time because it, tea tree can be really drying on the skin so I only use this in the evenings and I sort of do it every other evening. I love it. It makes my skin feel squeaky clean and hopefully this could be the one product to sort out my spots so I'm going to carry on using this I'm going to pick up a new tube of it and see if I can keep them under control okay I've then got um something which is really cool now a company actually sent this to me I didn't pay for it with my own money but I also did a blog post review sort of thing on my blog about this product as well. So I'll leave a link down below if you want to know any more information. But basically they're a company called Secret Scent Box. And they send you this tiny little box in the post every single month if you sign up obviously. Um, and then you open up the box and it's got this cute little leaflet in the front. And then behind it are three little miniature perfumes. Now this is such a cool idea if you love perfume. Um, I'm not gonna go on too much because I will just literally blab on for so long and it'll be a load of rubbish. But long story short, you get three miniature perfumes. These three should last you the whole month and that is based on like four squirts a day, I think. And you basically get to test out three designer perfumes each month. And it's just a great way to discover new perfumes and get to try them without spending a lot of money. Um, the fav my favorite one out of this little lot here is the YSL Mon Paris perfume. It smells gorgeous, it smells like cherries, and it's literally right up my street, 
and I feel like this could possibly be my next purchase. So it is a really great way of testing them without without paying for the full price perfume. Um, it's handy, it's convenient, they just pop it through your post box and there we go, it's all done. Um, you get to try three perfumes out of it, you can carry them around in your bag, they actually have sprays on them which a lot of miniature perfumes don't which I absolutely love about them. Um, and if you don't like them you can give them away and you haven't really wasted too much money on them so like I said it is £15 that is £5 per little miniature perfume um, but it will last you the whole month and you can also get a bit of a discount so if you check the little bottom box down below there will be a discount code for you to get some money off so make sure you check that out the last beauty product is a fake tan. Now this is the Saint-Tropez Instant Tan Wash Off Face and Body Lotion. Now the reason I bought this was because my sister told me that it was the fake tan she uses and she always looks such a gorgeous brown. Um, but this is the fake tan that she uses so I thought that I'd pick it up. I bought this, I think it was around the beginning of the month and I've actually used quite a lot of it. I don't think there's that much left. But basically you just apply it onto a tanning mitt, buff it into your skin and it looks such a nice colour. Like it really does look quite natural um, and obviously it is a wash off one so you can pop it on for like a night out or if you're going out for the day and then when you have a shower in the evening most of it will scrub off. But I just love it and I didn't feel like I would ever like a wash off tan just because I like mine to be there all of the time. But this is great and I'm definitely, definitely going to be repurchasing it. And then my last favourite is completely random and it is actually a food favourite. Um, this is my Orbit Chewing Gum in the, sh in the flea in the shade, not, it's not in a shade. This is the Orbit Watermelon Chewing Gum um, and now basically I picked this up when I went to Ibiza and I've only got one, two, I've got four pieces left and I absolutely love it. It's so nice and I'm really hoping that they sell this chewing gum in England. I've not yet looked for it so if you know let me know down below in the comments because it will save me like searching everywhere for it but this is amazing and if you get the chance to eat it definitely get some i really hope that you enjoyed the video um please remember to give it a thumbs up if you did remember to read the description box because there'll be lots of information and discount codes and that sort of thing um but yeah let me know what your favorites were throughout the month of september i would really really like to know um feel free to leave me any comments any questions that kind of thing because i always reply to my comments um and i love talking to you guys i'm gonna go now and make a cup of coffee stop texting me i will see you all very soon with another video goodbye